Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new and you've just come across my channel and my videos. I hope you're all doing well. As you can see by the title today I've got such an exciting video and it is a puppy haul. We are due to get a little puppy in the next couple of weeks so I thought what I'll do is go through all the bits that we picked up for said puppy before we pick him up and if you guys have got anything any ideas of bits we've missed bits we would benefit from then let me know in the comments down below and i think what i'm going to do in a couple of weeks once we've had him a little while i'm going to go through all these bits again the bits show you the bits we used the bits we didn't use the bits that were really helpful and the bits that were pretty rubbish so i don't really know where to start i'm literally surrounded by bits <laughs> but the cutest bits ever. Who doesn't love puppy stuff? So, where shall I start? So, let me start with the bits behind me. I just put these here. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna run through these bits. So, first of all, with the boring stuff, this is the Royal Canin Puppy Mini. I'm not too clued up on food, but this is the food that Pup is on now. Um, so, the puppy we're getting is a little French Bulldog and he will be between 9 and 10 weeks by the time he comes to live with us. So, this is the food he's on now. If you guys have any recommendations of the best food, if you have found your Frenchie, what they like. Um, I know they've got allergies, so hopefully he'll be okay on this. Obviously he's on it now, so hopefully he'll stay okay on that. So we picked up just a little bag um, to see. We might decide to change him on to something different. We might decide this works really well for him. So yeah, we picked up a little bag to start with. We then picked up this, which is the Ava Veterinary Approved Optimum Health for Medium Breeds. And this is again in the puppy. This was actually free with um, puppy points at Home Bargains. Not Home Bargains. Pets at Home. Oh, can't think. So yeah, this was free. A lot of people do recommend this. So this might be an ideal food. Um, I know one of our neighbours recommended that they use these as little puppy treats so they're a little bit healthier, which is quite a good idea. But yeah, again, I picked up just a small bag of this. Um, like I said, this was free. Then to go with the food, we picked up these bowls, which I believe were from... I'm so sorry, if I forget where things are from, I will try and um, remember. But these were 2 99 and these were from... What's it called? The range. This one just has a little woof on it, which is super cute. And then this one has just little paw prints all around it. So we thought we'd get one of each. And this can be his water bowl and this can be his food bowl. Then, to go underneath, we got this. Well, Brad's, my partner's parents actually picked this up for us. So, yeah, I thought this was super cute. And it's just a little, little mat which matches. And again, I think this was from the range. So, yeah, that's super cute. And the bowls literally fit on there perfect. So... Yeah, that's just our pup making any mess all over the floor. Although we expect a lot of mess having a little puppy. Then um, another boring thing, we just picked up these training pads. I did open them just so I could see what they look like, but um, they haven't been used yet. And they are just for puppy training pads and a pack of 30. That might be super ambitious, just picking 30 up. But I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that he does well um, and doesn't need any more of these. But I'm fully fully expecting to have to buy some more of these but that's okay then i'm going to move on to the beds we've picked up for um the little pup and these beds are from dunelm they might not be the most practical but hopefully they'll be super comfy for him um, and they are the teddy bear beds this one was 20 pound and it's huge this one i don't think you can see just how big it is so i think we'll have to take this out to start with and just put a blanket in. I don't think he'll be able to get in. Bless him. He's so small. So yeah, we picked that one up for upstairs, and then we picked up another one for downstairs. This one we thought we'd pick up in a smaller size, but it is quite a lot smaller. So I don't know if it's going to be too big. Um, this one was fifteen, and it again in the teddy material. As you can see, we've taken the cushion out from this one, and we've just put this little blanket in. So that's what it looks like without the cushion. Um, so we thought we would just as this one's going to be downstairs, um, we'll take it out to start with. And then we picked up some of these blankets. I think I've picked up two or three, maybe. 
in this and these were from the food warehouse so the Iceland type thing and I think they were literally like 2 .99. so super soft so I thought we could just sit that in the bottom there um, and yeah it'd be easier for him to get in and out and it's still super cozy. On the sleeping lines we picked this up and this I found online and it was really recommended and it's a little sheep let me see if you can hear it Oh, has he turned it off? I think Brad's turned it off. Let me turn it back on. Yeah, so it's this little sheep and it's got this little heartbeat in it. Can you hear that? I don't know whether you're going to be able to hear it. But it's just got a little heartbeat in it. So when Puffy is trying to go to sleep on his first couple of nights, he feels like he's with his litters, litter mate still. Um, and yeah, so he can cuddle up to that and hopefully... I'm hoping that settles him a little bit more. I'm fully expecting him to whine and cry, but hopefully this will just make him a little bit more settled. So yeah, that was highly recommended. So that's that. Then I think I'll show you the other sort of treat bits we've got him. So I've just put it in this box, which is a Baker's Christmas edition box. Um, this isn't new. This we had for when Brad's family's dog came around. So. It was full of those treats but because of corona coronavirus we haven't had anyone around and they all went out of date they obviously had to go in the bin but i picked up these again i don't know how good they are um please don't hate me if they're not the best but i thought i'd pick them up and just give them a go so they are these wag treats if you do have any recommendations for better treats again please let me know i know i keep saying that but these are the wag puppy treats so I picked these ones up from Cherries. I did a Cherries haul a couple of weeks ago. So these are the chicken and yogurt meaty bites. So that's those ones. And then, then I picked up these from um, Cherries as well. And they're the training ones and they're chicken and cheese. And then lastly, I saw these ones today in Pets at Home and I wanted to eat them because they just sounded delicious. So these are the wag treats and they're cookies and they're peanut butter and banana how good do they sound sorry but if puppy doesn't want them i'm sure will they taste nice i think so but yeah these are what they look like and they just sound delicious so yeah those are the only sort of treats we picked him up i didn't want to pick up too much just because i don't want to upset his little tummy so yeah hopefully they will be okay um we still have time to pick up other bits, so I think that's all the sort of treats. Then moving on to some like more random bits, um, we picked up two of these towels, which, and I think they were under five pound each. Maybe this one was six pound. I think they were five pound, but they're just nice big towels um, in a, a dark colour. So we're going to have one as his bath towel and one downstairs just to wipe his little paws when he comes in from outside. And they're super soft. These are the towels we have at home anyway, so. We thought we'd pick him up some, especially for him. I then picked up one of these, which um, if you saw my previous video, my home bargains haul on Sunday, then you would have seen this. But I've taken all the packaging off it. But it's a pet noodle, I think it's called. And it's just this like mat. It almost looks like a bath mat, but it's especially for muddy feet coming through back doors. So yeah, I'm hoping that stops the muddy feet as much as it can but yeah we picked that up for him and that was I believe 6 99 from B&M. Hopefully that suits its purpose. Then like I said we got some more blankets. We have got some more. I don't know where I put them actually. Where have I put them? I can't remember where I put them but we've got some more blankets. We bought him some and they were from again B&M just their like cheap blankets but we got another one of these which is which is the pet blanket and it's in the black color instead of the beige so we've got two of the beige and one of the black i don't know where the others have gone but yeah lots of blankets we've stocked up on because i think they probably will go through them <laughs> then what else this which is the universal seat belt restraint so it clips into the seat belt and then it clips onto the collar or the harness which is super good. I think this was from, uh, this was Pet, I can't get my words out. This was from Pets at Home and this was £6. Um, 
they did have some really expensive ones. I don't know what the difference would be, so we just opted for this one. Uh, we do need to get a sort of car seat for him, but we don't know the best thing to do. Um, so we're on the lookout for one of them. But yeah, picked up that, um, obviously it was super important. Then we picked up some, just my pet's essentials, poo bags and a poo bag dispenser. And this, I think was one pound, two pound maybe. And I think that was just from Home Bargains. So super affordable. And again from Home Bargains is this collar and lead set. And it's just this little grey one. We thought we'd get him this. Um, we wanted just a sort of cheap collar to start with because when we bring him home, he won't be going for walks for a couple of weeks. So in the meantime, we will have a look for a nice new lead. I think we'll probably get one of the retractable ones, but we thought we'd pick this up. And I think this was probably two, three, four pounds, something like that. Um, just picked up in a gray color. So we've got a spare collar just in case. He does have one on already and we have bought another one. So I'll show you that in a minute um, with the cloves. And yeah, that's super cute, but we thought we'd get that one anyway. Then from Pets at Home again, we picked up this, which is the Thie, Thie, Three Peaks bottle. Um, and this is one of those bottles that you can, um, let me take it out and see if I can show you. So you pour the water out. Yeah, so you, you clip that on and you just pour the water. How do you get it out then? Oh, maybe it's not as easy as I think. Oh, am I just being stupid? Oh, okay. So, you just pour the water. Make sure that's done up so it doesn't go everywhere. Pour the water in there. And then, probably you can have a little drink. And then you just put that straight back on. And yeah, clip it on and you can go. So I thought that was super handy. That was £5. And then I think this is the last sort of accessory. Um, accessory, a little bit. And this is a puppy lava puppy shampoo. So pick that up, hoping that doesn't react to his sensitive skin. Um, hopefully not. I need to get him a brush as well. Um, but the one I want is online, so I need to order that. But yeah, hopefully that is okay for his skin and not too sensitive, bless him. Then uh, I think this is the last little bit. And then I'm going to show you clothes and toys. But this is a little... Oh, I just want scratch. This is a little collar. No, it's not. It's a little tag for his collar. So it's got our numbers on the back and then on the front we just put little B. So we didn't put his full name on there. I know you're not recommended to do that. Just in case he does go missing and people try and call him by his name. So I didn't want it just empty. So we put a little B for his initial. And I will announce his name when we do a meet a puppy video. But yeah, little hint. It begins with B. We're down to toys and clothes. So we'll do the toys. Um... And just show you the bits. We've got lots of different ones. I want to give him a chance not to choose stuff. So hopefully this will work. Um, first of all, a Kong. Hopefully he likes this. I know you can put treats and stuff in it. I think this was maybe seven, eight pounds from Home Bargain. Why do I keep saying Home Bargains? Pets at home. <laughs> so yeah, pick that up. And I think these are quite good for pups. I then picked up this, which is just a super soft, fluffy rabbit. And it's got a little... Sorry if that's it, anyone's dogs off, but that's got a little squeaker in it. Um, I thought that was quite cute. It can just sit in his bed if he wants to play with it, he can. And then we picked up a big basket of lots of different toys. So I'll just run through them all quickly. Um, again, my partner's parents picked up this little rabbit, which is super cute. And um, this was 2 99 I think this was from the range again. But yeah, super cute. Does that have a... Yeah, that's got a little squeaker in it. Then I picked up this, which is a Toy Boy Dumbbell Chew, and this is milk chocolate flavoured. Then there's just some more squeaky toys, a ball, a Playtime antler, a chew ring, another ball, one of these sort of chew ropes, a squeaky hot dog, the other side we've got a sports pet ball i think this was more for brad because he likes kicking balls around the house which is super annoying i don't know if i've showed you this one but another ball some more sort of chewy things i think these are quite good for puppy's teeth so yeah one of them another ball and this has got little teeth on it another rope i think some of these came in this set a little pink donut and again that's got a squeaker in it 
then the back one. So this, oh, well caught. Cool. This little elephant, which again has got a squeaker in it, but I think this is cool. So um, this will be quite nice for chewing on. So little elephant. Then we've got an avocado. Um, this was from Home Bargains. I think this is really cheap. It's got this like rope at the bottom and has it got it in? No. Oh, it has. <laughs> yeah, so it's got a scooter in it. Then this little cow, which I just thought was the most adorable thing ever. How cute is that? And lastly in here is this scrunchie plush farmyard animal and it's just a cow with again the squeaker in it down there so yeah lots of toys again if you recommend any more or just some good ones to stop him chewing then i would highly appreciate that then moving on to the most exciting bit um this isn't by any means to dress him up um they are just jumpers to keep him warm so yeah i thought i'd just put that out there so first one is this one it's the dog face and it's a tiny little jumper i think this may actually be too small by the time we get him so we will see um but yeah super super cute and i will um if i remember try and link all the companies below and then it picked up this one which is in the same sort of jumper and it says tom and jerry on the back and sorry but is that not just the most adorable jumper you've ever seen and then picked up this which I am super impressed with the quality of this is just incredible like so good and it's this is actually more sized um true to size so this is from house of edens and it's got the little logo on the front I would highly recommend even down to the way the, the hood fits but yeah highly recommend I think this was 25 pound maybe but yeah super good quality and it's got the little hole there for the lead got a little pocket which obviously you won't use but it's super cute then the last little bit of clothing is this. Oh, how gorgeous is this? I'm totally obsessed with this. So yeah, I had to pick that up obviously, but yeah, super cute. And that is everything. I have ordered another one. It's in a sort of rusty color um, jumper and it's got his name written on the front. So, so excited for that. But they're just keeping warm. Like I said, I'm not gonna put socks and things like that on him, but yeah, I thought I'd just put that out there. Then the, I think this is the last two bits. I'm hoping I've not missed anything. Um, if I have, then let me know down below if you think there is something I need. But again, this is from House of Edens and it's this little spaceman collar. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see. Is that not just so gorgeous? And to go with that is this little spaceman harness. It's just gorgeous it's the most gorgeous material as well so it'll be able to wipe down but i'm so impressed with their stuff it came in this gorgeous packaging um and most importantly it came with this little card and it says on it i don't care who dies in the movie as long as the dog lives and is that not just so true and so cute but that is everything i have picked up so far Fingers crossed I've not left anything out, but let me know down below if there's anything you think I should pick up or if you'd like to know where anything's from and I've missed it, I will try and remember. But yeah, that's everything I picked up. I'm hoping Poppy loves everything just as much as we do and not long till we pick him up. So I will be back with a meet Poppy video. And like I said, I will come back next month or soon after just to show you the bits that we did use um if there's anything along the way that we picked up that we missed um and we would recommend but yeah that is everything for today's video so i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give this video a thumbs up subscribe down below and i'll be back soon with some more videos bye